with me. I hope you kept your Bibles open here in Luke, the 13th chapter. The Bible says, now he, meaning Jesus, was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and quite unable to stand up straight. Y'all know I'm curious like George. So I had to find out what this woman might be experiencing. Can we talk about her condition? Um, I learned that persons with scoliosis experience back pain, leg length discrepancy, uneven hips or abnormal gait. In other words, her feet hit the ground at awkward times. She walked with a limp. Persons with scoliosis may notice that one shoulder is higher than the other or they may have a more prominent shoulder blade some people experience a visual curvature of the spine causing their clothes can i paint the picture causing their clothes to fit improperly so this woman in addition to walking with a limp may have been experiencing severe back pain spinal curvature and on top of all of that she needed custom clothes because one of her shoulders was higher than the other and before you shut down and say this doesn't apply to me let me express we've all been where this woman is yes yes she had a problem with her center her spine was off balance and if you're honest about yourself there have been times in your life when your center was off what am I talking about many of you right now are checking your Instagram because your spine is not centered your your spiritual center is off. you can't hear nothing I'm saying right now because you're looking across the church trying to find your new baby daddy because your center is off the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of the lord and all of his righteousness and then all of these things you're trying to find a vein but jesus is saying i want to bless you ain't nobody's game tighter than jesus ain't no man gonna come to you and say he'll be your jehovah Jah. get your center together notice when your spine is off, it causes problems for the other parts of the body. When your center is off, it causes problems in other areas of your life. Could it be you're struggling financially because you're not reading your Bible? Could it be you're not able to be in right relationship because you're not praying like you should? When your center is off, it affects every part of your life. Scoliosis affects the back directly, but it indirectly throws off the legs, the hips, the shoulders, and ultimately the arms. And many of us, God wants to bless us, but we've got to get our backs aligned. We got to get our spiritual center aligned. What am I talking about? A couple of weeks ago, I was driving my car on 75 and I found myself not able to stay in my lane. And when you're on 75 and you're going on the downtown connector, you got to be careful about getting in other folk lane. They'll, they'll, they'll utter some words at you and throw, throw some signs at you that are not of God. And so you got to make sure you stay in your lane. And I began to veer into someone else's lane. And it wasn't because I couldn't drive, but I took the car to the mechanic and what they told me was that I needed an alignment and some of us are injuring other people we're all out of our lane and we're damaging other people and we're a risk to other people we create danger on the highway of life because our center is not aligned we are not focused on the main thing which is pleasing God I wish somebody would be honest and say I need to get my center right I, I need to pray more I need to fast more I, I need to get my center right how do I know we are not aligned and our center is off some of us are more concerned about our weave than we are about our womb and our ability to birth something fresh and new in our lives. Yes, we post scriptures on our social media that we don't internalize and follow for ourselves and apply. Many of us are more concerned about looking like something and looking like someone, but we're ugly on the inside, naked 